Hello everybody, welcome to our Sengoku Dynasty Survival Guide. We are making the kitchen today, uh, which I don't think I've made in my, my previous uh, Sengoku uh, save file, so brand new production building, pretty excited about that. And uh, this is the finished product right here behind us. We have this lovely little, it's honestly pretty bare, but you know, it's the idea that counts, right? Uh, but that is the kitchen. Um, if you want to make this, you have to unlock it uh, first, the blueprint that is, and you do that by uh, either reaching Dynasty level 4 or 5. I'm not 100% sure. That kind of stuck past me. I think it's 5, but it might be 4. Who knows? Uh, but basically, you just gotta, you gotta reach that level, and how you do that is by completing quests, um, which... If you do the first kind of three beginner quests uh, that um, you get from the guy over at the Burnt Down Village, uh, that'll get you up pretty quickly. And then literally just invite villagers to your village, and that'll bump you up also really fast. Like, for example, I just invited one person, and I'm already, like, more than halfway there uh, to Dynasty Level, uh, Dynasty Legends 6. So uh, that's kind of how you go about it. You just got to invite some people, and then you'll get the blueprint unlocked for the kitchen. So uh, to build this guy, uh, in total, you're going to need 13 logs, 83 sticks, 58 uh, grass, and then 8 stone. Uh, or I don't think, maybe it's not 50, it might be 38 actually grass. 38 grass, not 58. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, basically after, uh, you get all that, uh, you kind of, you know, it's your usual hammer, the foundation, the floor, the exterior, the roof, and then you have quite a few furniture pieces. There's like this guy here. You've got the hearth here, uh, some storage here, a bed and another storage here too. So the great thing about this one is it does have a bed. So you can assign a villager to sleep here until, you know, you can make a, an actual house for them. So, uh, that is, that's, uh, that's rather helpful. I would say, um, I actually had some refugees show up and just kind of like chilling over here. I feel so bad cause I'm not ready to take them in yet. So I'm just like, sorry guys. Uh, but, uh, but that does give you an extra bed. So that's, uh, that's rather nice. Now when it comes to actually, uh, using this guy, we'll go back to our jobs here. You're going to find it at the sunken hearth in kitchen and you can make uh, a few little recipes here. Uh, the cooked, uh, gobo, cooked egg, fish, meat, etc. And you don't need any uh, tools for these little kind of like beginner, uh, I would say, uh, meals. You just need to make sure that you have the actual uh, resource, the actual ingredient in um, preferably your food storage. Um, I, I can't remember if this, if, this, if this can go in your general storage now because I know they kind of changed how storage works now. I suppose we can quick take a little look. Um, I, have, I have food storage just because... Um, I made it before they made all the the changes. So let's just see if we can put this in. Okay, so it can go in here. So you know, just make sure make sure you have the ingredients either in your general storage or if you have food storage, put it in there. I recommend just having food storage because it's like right there, and, and I have my kitchen uh, right here as well. So it's you know it's nice and and uh, close to it in case I need to do something. But otherwise, I'm definitely gonna have a a villager start to take over all the cooking because you know it's, it takes a little bit of time away from all the other things i got to do in this game so uh that is uh kind of how that works and like i said you just got to make sure that you have the ingredients otherwise these guys will uh basically just cook what you have here um and i guess like the more complex one is obviously the simple vegetable meal where you need any vegetable and any uh bean so if you're not growing that make sure you're out harvesting it otherwise they're not going to be able to make this meal for you and then obviously just make sure you assign your worker and that's about it so that's uh that is the kitchen which uh is relatively small i'd say a little bare which is a little bit more decorated on inside maybe like another update or something when they kind of because let's be honest it's probably gonna be another whole like uh new models for these buildings let's be honest here and they might be might, might bring a little bit more decoration on that but uh, that's about it for the kitchen. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep surviving and keep thriving.